The Battle of the Catalonian Plains occurred in the year 451, marking a pivotal moment in the struggle between the Roman Empire and the forces of Attila the Hun. This battle was fought on June 20, between the Huns, led by Attila, and the coalition of Roman and Visigothic forces under the command of General Aetius and King Theodoric I of the Visigoths. The stakes were incredibly high, as the outcome would significantly affect the power dynamics in Western Europe during this tumultuous period. Background, the Huns and the Roman Empire In the late 4th and early 5th centuries, the Roman Empire faced numerous challenges, both from internal strife and external threats. The Huns, a nomadic group from Central Asia, had begun their incursion into Eastern and Western Europe, wreaking havoc in destabilizing territories. Attila emerged as a formidable leader of the Huns, uniting various tribes under his command and launching campaigns against the Roman Empire and its allies. The Roman Empire, weakened by internal political turmoil and economic decline, sought to maintain its influence and protect its borders. General Aetius, often referred to as the last of the Romans, played a crucial role in organizing a defense against the Huns. He understood that the Huns posed an existential threat and sought allies among the various Germanic tribes, including the Visigoths. The Coalition Forces, Aetius and Theodoric the coalition that formed to oppose Attila consisted of a diverse array of forces. Aetius commanded the Roman troops, while Theodoric I, the king of the Visigoths, led his warriors alongside them. Aetius had previously built a relationship with the Visigoths, recognizing their military prowess and importance in the fight against the Huns. The Visigothic forces numbered around 20,000, while Aetius's Roman contingent comprised roughly 30,000 soldiers. This coalition was significant, as it represented a united front among groups that had often been at odds with each other. The combined strength of the Romans and Visigoths would be crucial in confronting Attila's formidable army, estimated to consist of approximately 100,000 troops. Prelude to battle, the march to Catalani. As Attila advanced into Gaul, his forces devastated towns and cities, instilling fear in the hearts of the populace. The Roman and Visigothic coalition mobilized quickly to intercept him. The decision to confront Attila at the Catalonian plains was strategic, it provided a flat battleground suitable for the large armies. Both sides gathered their forces and prepared for a confrontation that would determine the fate of the region. Aetius and Theodoric, understanding the gravity of the situation, met to coordinate their strategies. They needed to create a plan that would maximize their strengths and exploit the vulnerabilities of the Huns. The Day of Battle, June 20, 451. On the day of the battle, June 20, the landscape was set for a fierce confrontation. The Catalonian plains became the site of a titanic clash between the two armies. The Huns, renowned for their cavalry and archery skills, sought to outmaneuver their foes. In contrast, the Romans and Visigoths prepared to hold their ground and resist the Hunnic onslaught. As the battle commenced, the two sides engaged in brutal combat. The Huns charged fiercely, attempting to break through the Roman lines. Aetius's troops held firm, relying on their disciplined formations to withstand the initial assaults. The Visigoths, under Theodoric, fought valiantly, pushing back against the Hunnic forces and providing crucial support to their Roman allies, turning points and key moments. Several key moments define the battle's outcome. One significant event was the death of King Theodoric I, who fell during the fierce fighting. His loss created a potential crisis for the Visigothic forces, but Aetius, demonstrating strong leadership, urged them to continue fighting in honor of their fallen king. The fighting raged on for hours, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. Estimates suggest that the Huns lost around 50,000 men, while the coalition forces suffered approximately 30,000 casualties. The ferocity of the battle and the heavy losses incurred by both sides ultimately led to a stalemate the aftermath, a retreat and its implications. As night fell on the battlefield, Attila's forces found themselves unable to secure a decisive victory. Recognizing that the coalition had not been defeated and with his own army suffering significant losses, Attila ordered a retreat. This withdrawal marked a crucial turning point, as it signified that the Huns could be resisted and that the Roman Empire, despite its decline, still possessed the capability to mount effective defenses. In the aftermath of the battle, the power dynamics in Western Europe shifted. While the Roman Empire was weakened, 
the victory provided a temporary respite from the Hunnic threat. The coalition forces, despite their losses, demonstrated that unity among different groups could achieve significant outcomes against a common enemy. Legacy of the Battle of Catalan The Battle of the Catalanian Plains is remembered not just for the immediate military engagements but also for its long-term implications. It represented one of the last major efforts to repel the Huns before their eventual decline. The battle underscored the fragility of the Roman Empire and highlighted the importance of alliances among various tribes and nations. In the grand tapestry of history, this battle also foreshadowed the eventual fragmentation of the Western Roman Empire. The decline of centralized authority led to the rise of new powers and the eventual emergence of medieval kingdoms across Europe. The legacy of the battle continues to be studied by historians, illustrating the complex interplay of military strategy, diplomacy, and cultural dynamics during a time of profound change. The significance of Aetius and his leadership, along with the role of the Visigoths, serves as a testament to the era's shifting alliances and the challenges faced by the Roman Empire. The Battle of the Catalanian Plain stands as a significant event in the annals of history, encapsulating the struggles of the late Roman Empire against external threats. The bravery of the coalition forces and the strategic acumen of leaders like Aetius shaped the narrative of resistance during a time of chaos. Ultimately, the battle reflects the broader themes of conflict, alliance, and the quest for power that characterized this tumultuous period. The lessons learned from the Catalanian plains continue to resonate, reminding us of the complexities of history and the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity.